Hey, I'm Hunt, and this is Hunt on LSU, your channel for LSU Fighting Tiger football talk. Enjoy the video. We want you to leave a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe right below the video. Enjoy. It was tough. It's tough out there for the sports fan here in South Louisiana, but we're here talking about it just a little bit, and I do want to, want to highlight a little bit of the positive. It's not um, the most uh, topical thing these days in South Louisiana because you lost the game, but this offense is absurdly good absurdly good you have you have to punt on your first drive and on the second drive you're driving it right down and Jaden gets popped and fumbles okay I'm shocked they didn't look at that for targeting I hate targeting and thought it was a good play by the Ole Miss guy and he certainly didn't launch but I thought there could potentially have been some helmet to helmet collision whatever it doesn't matter that's not the point after that after you had the punt and then the fumble you basically scored a touchdown on six straight drives. And this is becoming like commonplace for LSU. You saw them do it against Mississippi State. You saw them do it against Arkansas. And they do it again. They go six plays, 75 yards, touchdown. Six plays, 78 yards, touchdown. Seven plays, 75 yards, touchdown. Five plays, 75 yards, touchdown. Then you had the field goal attempt for the end of the half. So that one doesn't really count. But... You had eight plays, 85 yards, touchdown. Nine plays, 75 yards, touchdown. That is six consecutive touchdown drives. All of them were 75 yards or longer. All of them. None of them were short fields. And the longest one was four minutes and 39 seconds. You're basically routinely going 75 yards in two and a half minutes. Touchdown. It is a freaking clinic. We asked all summer for Jaden Daniels to take some shots down the field and let some of these guys go play. Well, he's doing it, and they're going to play. Yeah, I'd like it if Chris Hilton makes the catch on that long long first one. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd love it if Caleb Jackson would catch that first down out route that really changed, I thought, the momentum of the game. But this is just clinical. And you look at some of the statistics that they are now rolling up. LSU right now is... Third in the country in third down efficiency. They convert 58%. They're seventh in the country in scoring offense. Jaden Daniels is fourth in the country in passing yards. He's second in the country in passing touchdowns. He's thrown 16 touchdowns to two interceptions. Malik Neighbors is number three in the nation in receiving yards. Brian Thomas leads the nation in receiving touchdowns. Malik is number 11 on that list. And... Jaden's making all the throws. He's dropping the fades in the bucket like he did against Mississippi State and like he did in this game. He's hitting guys over the middle. He's hitting guys on the run. He's extending plays, making throws deep down the field, hitting guys on quick routes around the chains. Everything they do is good. The offensive line has improved. There's not nearly as much pressure on, on Jaden as there was in the Florida State game. They've now found a semblance of a running game that's been nice. I mean, Ole Miss has been decent on defense this year. You don't think about that when you think about a Lane Kevin Ole Miss team, but they have been decent on defense. And LSU ran the football for 223 yards and passed it for another 414 more. You're talking about an LSU team that finished the game <laughs> with 637 yards and 49 points. Basically a 50-burger. With 637 yards. That's remarkably good. And it's it's mainly week after week. I mean, Jaden Daniels throws for 414 and runs for 99 more. He accounted for 513 yards of offense and five touchdowns. And it's not what we want to talk about because the most important thing is that you win the game, and if you don't win the game, then the story is obviously going to be the defense. And we would certainly talk about the defense if Chris Hilton catches that ball at the end and they win. But it would have been in the second segment. In the first segment, I mean, you know what? This is the best offense in the Southeastern Conference, maybe the best offense in the country, and they got to figure something out on defense. But are you terrified of Missouri, Auburn, and Army? Because if you're not, then that's... The situation going to Tuscaloosa. Seven and one, chance to do it all. And right now, you're still, LSU's still in the same spot they were last year. It's just a Tennessee loss trade for the Ole Miss loss. 
but it feels a lot worse because it's year two and because the defense looks significantly worse. But the fact of the matter is that this offense is going to take the field in every game, and that's going to give LSU a chance to win. I mean, it feels like I'm pulling for a Cliff Kingsbury Texas Tech team right now that's throwing it all over the place and scoring 70 points and can't stop a nosebleed. But the fact is that the first part is, is, is any less true. They're so good on offense. I mean, Malik caught all eight of his targets again for 102 yards. Brian Thomas, eight catches, three touchdowns, 124 yards. You got Mason Taylor involved for five catches. Kyron Lacey had a couple of catches, including a 29-yarder. Diggs got involved in the passing game. Hilton showed his speed. And Jaden Daniels is playing just about as good as you can play. Every single bit of progression that we hope to see from him over the summer, we've seen. Now, it didn't look like that against Florida State for whatever reason. I think a lot of it had to do potentially with the offensive line not playing very well and getting beat. And now the offensive line is playing a little bit better. He's got more protection, and there's a running game component that goes with this. And so he's been great. He's still taking care of it. I mean, they almost dropped a pick on the last drive, sure. But that's desperation time. But he's still taking care of it, and now he's making those plays down the field. 16 touchdown passes in five games. That's better than three a game. It's just a shame that you, you tried out this machine of an offense, and you got to turn around and go, God, defense, goodness gracious. But that's where they are. Brian Kelly talked a lot about it today and essentially said, look, we've got to get better. We've got to tackle better. We've, we've got to work on tackling we got to get these guys some experience. They brought in Pete Jenkins for whatever that's worth. But nothing on that defense is very good. The offense, pretty impressive to watch. Hey, thanks for watching Hunt on LSU. Before you get out of here, do us a couple of favors. Hit that like button, leave your comments below, and subscribe to the channel for all your fighting Tiger football talk. See you next time.